Hi. Um, I'm, hi. After the intensity of week number two and Simmons being ejected, I didn't think it would be possible to live up to the intensity that not only us, the viewers, but the Sharks themselves had went through. But week three did not disappoint. They did not really slow down whatsoever. We get some of the most uh, offensive challenges <laughs> and another elimination. I guess technically like our first real elimination as well as a special surprise that might be at the end of this video or perhaps in the next one because I'm actually gonna, I think I'm just gonna break up every week into two videos. It's just, it's a lot to put in one video. So if you wanna check out more, please subscribe, check out the playlist of all the other fish tank videos and let's just get into it. Day 15. Continuing on our handicap challenge, Jet swings by to switch up the disabilities for each one of the fish, which is fair enough because I'm pretty sure Vance would have be actually become a schizo if he had continued under these conditions. Josie now has Tourette's, Vance has a wheelchair, John is schizo, Damiel's full on retard, Letty's fucked up, and Sylvia is an amputee. Damiel, you have the first of the new batch of mental disabilities. Damiel, you are now retarded. <laughs> You're too good at that, Daniel. Daniel, it, we're gonna do lithium and tranquilizers. You gotta just just for sixty seconds. Then Gold Striker makes an appearance for our new mini daily challenge, and this is hide and seek part day. Hey, guess what? What? I think that we'd have a lot of fun if we played hide and seek right now. I was in the neighborhood, an unscheduled visit, I just thought I'd drop by. I was driving my million dollar foreign car when I thought to myself, hey, now would be a good time for a little hide and seek. And it just so happens I was right by the stop on the highway. So here we are. Guys, let's go ahead and go hide. And trust me, you're not going to want me to find you. Where's the plastic solar in this joint? I think there's a drawer over here. Whoops. Where? The drawer by the bridge. Where's the silverware in this crazy joint? Hey! Where's my birthday cake? Where's the birthday cake in this joint? What kind of place is this? That there's no birthday cake. Hey! You're going to get my birthday cake, Jack! Will Gold Striker actually seek out the fish that are hiding? What kind of hellish twist does he have planned for this seemingly innocuous game? Find out all that and more, uh, right now, I, I guess. All right, I'm coming for you! Hey, come on over here, Warren. All right, so here's the deal. For every person you find, I'm gonna give you another 20 bucks, okay? You hungry? You don't want some pizza or something? No. Let's go hog wild. They're all upstairs. So the twist on this one was, remember yesterday when he was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a homeless black guy in the house. Well, he actually did it. Oh, by the way, I'm so pissed off that none of you are being interesting. I'm gonna go get a fucking homeless black guy to come in here and be your new roommate. <laughs> So stupid. Gold Striker brought in a homeless black guy to play hide and seek with the fish. <laughs> like I thought this was a joke but at first. Gold Striker was leaving. He's like, oh, so by the way, this is also your new housemate. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Gold Striker then reappears for another challenge. For the next hour and a half, on top of everyone's disabilities, they also have to be retarded because this is the retard challenge. And for Damiel, that's double duty, so he has to go retard mode times two. For the next hour, triple threat challenge, in addition to being handicapped, you are also retarded. Begin. Yeah. Begin being retarded. Honestly, at this point, the fish seem kind of exhausted by the past couple days. Many of them aren't participating in the retard challenge, and a lot of them are like barely participating in the disability challenge at this point. I mean, John, for instance, is nowhere to be found during the retard challenge, possibly because this is like his version of blackface. Either way, it was all for nothing as Jet comes up like half an hour later and he's like, oh yeah, this, uh, this kind of sucks, so never mind. The prize was supposed to be a fish book, nobody got anything. Early, early morning, day 15, or 
perhaps it was late night day 14 uh there seems to be like kind of a rift in the house beginning to build between like i guess team letty and team damiel damiel and vance clearly have an alliance josie's in the alliance too but she doesn't really seem like she's picking sides like she's just kind of nonchalant. John desperately wants an in with the cool kids, but most people up until this point were kind of fed up with John in the house, except for Letty. You can make the argument that perhaps Letty is just trying to dig her succubus hooks into him because she can manipulate him and honestly nobody else in the house that really likes her. Sylvia was part of that cool kid clique, but there was an argument, like I said, early day 15, late day 14, um, between Letty and John. John was talking about how he has now made up with Daniel and they're friends again, and now he's kind of been accepted into the cool click and then Letty's like upset by this. Whether or not she's actually looking out for John's best interest, it's hard to say. She starts crying, John consoles her, the chat kind of just, everyone on the internet just kind of figures she's just trying to like <laughs> dig deeper into Jonathan, but Jonathan kind of like had rejected her to be part of the cool club. And then we add like another layer to this uh, background narrative on day 15 where Letty and Sylvia are together alone in bedroom one and it seems like sylvia has kind of switched sides and is now team letty and they're talking about how vance is kind of two-faced which he is i mean he is very uh he's playing this like a game like he is very devious about everything like he lies to people's faces pretending to be their friends like especially with letty let's say when realistically he hates her and they both kind of express how it seems like john is being torn away from their side of this new civil war that's broken out in the house how are you like gonna forget how we treated you. Yeah, exactly. And it's not even just because it's not like you're like being a friend that doesn't, doesn't game. respect him still. Like he's still like it's clear that he's just using him. Day sixteen. The producers have a word with John about his lack of effort the day prior on the handicap challenge, which is now currently putting him in last place and potentially having him be eliminated. It's pretty clear that John feels kind of dejected at this point, that this carefully curated hell has taken its toll on his soul. But he did say he'd bring his A game for the new disability challenge today. Jed arrives to tell the fish that it's nice out, so it's going to be an easy day and that the crew are having a barbecue outside so the house can relax. Gold Striker arrives a little later and gives a brief update on the t-shirt sales and then needs to go poop and doesn't return for hours. I cannot believe I fell for this. I mean, this is such an obvious gaslighting attack from the producers of this show. This is nothing more than the calm before the storm, the eye of the hurricane, a moment so momentous that it will forever shake the very foundation of the fish tank. Hours later, Gold Striker makes his second appearance to set up a new challenge. He announces that Camino's dad had come to learn that they were violating a fire code and there's only allowed a maximum of five contestants in the house at any given time. Okay, on a sad note, bad things happening, stuff that you're not gonna like. Camino's, or who I should say whose father's back role in this project, has gotten a little bit wary of the fire code violation. This house, there's too many people in this house. Josie, the fire code says we can have up to five contestants in here. Josie tries to count. There's probably more than five. Six. Bingo. How are we going to rectify that? What's going to happen? Someone's got to go. Yeah, I think so. I think someone's got to go. Big time! Tonight much? Kicking someone out? New development? The only obvious answer is a new sudden death disability challenge. We are going into 4x damage mode. He gives everyone new disabilities with tasks to go along with them. Letty is schizo and needs to decorate the house. Vance is retarded and needs to play tag with Josie. Josie is amputated and needs to not play tag with Vance. Damiel gets a speech impediment and has to rant about his favorite person. Sylvia has Tourette's and has to find a quiet room and tell a tragic life story about her. It was my old heroin dealer because he shot a cop and it died. Shot two cops. So. Is that real? Yeah, David Ware. And John has Down syndrome and needs to find a hidden phone somewhere in the house. The house is in complete chaos. Damiel is doing a John impression. Sylvia is telling a real story about her ex heroin dealer. Letty is spreading chili on the cabinets. Vance and Josie are running around like children. And John is playing the part to a T. And Gold Striker is just throwing things around and yelling on a megaphone. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. All right, gang. That was amazing. That was probably the best 20 minutes of television that's ever been filmed. Mm-hmm. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Mm-hmm. Wow, what a show. As a matter of fact, I'd be surprised if our viewership wasn't at an all-time high right now. As a matter of fact, we're getting calls from major networks to buy the show. I can't believe it. My cell phone's blowing up. My agent's been calling, ringing off the hook. Get these retards on my show! Give me the retards, baby! Then comes our final challenge. The flash round, everyone has the same disability for one minute intervals challenge. Phase one, retards. Everybody's retarded, begin! (laughs) Phase two, no legs. Phase three, Tourette's. (laughs) Phase four, blind. Phase five, grand final. Death. Gold Striker and the crew leave to tally the infractions and deliberate the fish that will be ejected. In the downtime, the fish discuss the day. John is sure that with all the infractions he racked up in the few days prior, he's being sent home and confirms that he found the whole handicap challenge offensive and it really took a toll on his spirit, which is fair. Gold Striker returns, he breaks character and shows his appreciation for the fish. All the fish. But it wasn't good enough to make up for your performance over the past couple of days, John. I'm sorry to say, so we have to let you go. That's okay. I have to say something. You never backed down on your morals while you were here. You won over a lot of people. This is not bullshit, by the way. This is Zach. I'm dropping the character. You won over a lot of people, man. You did really good. You're headstrong. You're confident. And everybody watching this right now knows that you've got a bright future ahead of you. John is ejected out of the tank in the exact opposite way of Simmons. It brought a tear to my eye. John had a heart of gold and brought some of the most memorable moments to the show. His sermons, the wall, the mustard. Okay, that's all for now. I could go on. His reaction to Simmons getting eliminated. Because I'm about to give you a a motivational speech through the door. John played a huge role in the dynamic of the house, the forever optimist, the glue holding everyone together. And even though he had these loud, unfettered, wild outbursts that were not intentional, like not like done intentionally to try and cause more chaos in the house, it's ultimately what it did do. And it, for the viewer, it was amazing. John was a great character and an even better person and will be missed by all. And right before John leaves, Vance pulls him aside and tries to preempt all the bad things he said about him behind his back by telling him he was just playing the game and he is sorry and feels bad and does actually care for him. Later that night, Vance, Sylvia, and Letty are having a post-mortem where Vance hints that John had been talking smack behind Letty's back, saying her getting close to him was weirding him out. But Letty mentions she has things she could say to refute this, but won't out of respect for their dearly departed John. Day 17. Day 17, another eventful day from week three. We get a brand new camera angle in the house only for season pass holders. This is the bathroom cam, which, okay, hold on. Let's, it's not, it's not what you think it is. Calm down, Letty Cells. Everyone's aware that the camera is in the bathroom. It's only in the downstairs bathroom. So that bathroom is kind of like off limits as an actual bathroom. And the idea behind it is we're going to use this room as a uh, confessional booth moving forward. Josie uses it to act weird, which I made into a music video. If you want to check out the full music video, link in description. Vance and Letty are talking in bedroom four where Naked Snake, aka Big Boss, reveals to Letty all the things John had said about her behind her back. Letty defends herself by saying things she couldn't say the night prior. That it was John who actually initiated playing footsies. He also offered her to sleep on the couch with him. And when she pulled back, that's when he started giving her the cold shoulder. I know Letty's a villain here, but honestly, I think I've got a side with her on this one. It seems what she's saying is true. John did do all those things. Now it is possible Letty knows that and it was using those things to her advantage to strengthen the bond with John so she has like a partner in the house. 
that is also very possible. Jet arrives to drop a series of mini challenges in what is known as the Summer Camp 2023 Challenge. No relation to Simmons. These are team building exercises that will also allow the audience to get a better perception of who the fish actually are. The first challenge is the impersonation challenge. Everyone is given another fish that they have to mimic. It's not like they were just given one. It was like they were given one and then they did a second wave where everyone got a new one. So I'm not gonna go through who everyone was, but here's a couple clips. Try and guess in the comments who was who. Here it is. Can you make it for me? You let it fall. What's that? So making it unfrozen. You know when you like fuck a bitch and she's getting her period and gets all over the place? Yeah, I think I like did something like that for my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, every single one of the five remaining fish crushed it in this challenge. Next was the personal low challenge, where the fish had to talk about the lowest point in their life, or one of the lowest points in their life. Sylvia went up and told a very real story about her ex-fiance, which would kind of lead to their eventual breakup. And then this happened. I was like, no, I gotta go home. Like, my mental state isn't good. Like, <laughs> that's what I want. Jet forgot to turn off the sound effects. Letty would go last and tell a completely heartbreaking domestic abuse story, and then this happened. I'll just talk about a different little point. I'm That's sure we are on one of those. Hai vũ đó là thằng mất dạy đó. Đó chỉ có là chữ chữ thầy. Thằng vô nhân quá. Con chó của cộng sản. Mày đỡ cái xưa đâu lắp mày. Ha. Bây giờ tao không muốn nói gì cho nhiều. And then this happened. The contrast between how serious this is. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Can we turn those off for just a second? And then this happened. But um, the place where I was, like, it was a really small town, so I didn't have anywhere to go, and I didn't know anyone there. The dog heart. Yeah, turn them off, please. Turn them off. The fish would get some grass in the house to fit the motif. Gold Striker arrives around 10 p.m. Gold Striker mentions that we have now entered Act 2. We've made it to the end of Act 1. That's a big achievement. I can't believe we got this far. Can't believe it. This is momentous. Wow! I'm surprised the fish made it this far. He teases scat time. Scat poopy. Yeah, it happens. And it's about to happen in this fish tank. Fine, I'll say. You're about to scat it up? Huh? When Jet and I and the rest of the writing staff were coming up with ideas, I'll be honest with you, about 30% of them involved scat feces or poop and shit. I'm excited to say that we're going to make at least half of those ideas come true. This is the first. What do you guys think of taking a break against some air? Seems like it might be a trick. It's not. Would you would you guys want to get some get some air and like just go outside? Be in the woods, get some sun. I'm excited for you because this 48 hour flash challenge we're calling it Happy Camper. Dun dun dun! Happy Camper! That's right. We're going in the woods. I can't this is awesome. This is actually awesome. We're gonna be campfires. We're gonna be horror stories. We're gonna be making s'mores. <laughs> We're gonna be telling ghost stories, baby. We're gonna be big ass bonfire. Everybody's gonna relax, recharge. It's gonna be so much fun. What? Something's bad. No. That's gonna happen. No. Nothing good happens in this house. No, 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 no. Can The best part is, we don't even have to leave the fish tank. <laughs> We're gonna do it right here in the woods. That's right. The kitchen and the living room. 
This is the woods right here. Whoa, the geyser's about to erupt. Look at the geyser. I think there's an eagle over there. Look at the eagle up there. Oh, there's bears. Don't leave your food out. Bears are going to get you. This is epic. This is awesome. The rules are simple. They cannot leave the downstairs area. They must sleep in sleeping bags and tents. No lights, no bathrooms. There is a porta potty added. Whoever pretends to be outside the best gets three fish bucks. And whoever has the most infraction loses a fish buck for each infraction. Ironically, they do the outside camping challenge after John was kicked off the show. And Simmons. And trust me, at midnight tonight, we're gonna turn this whole building into the biggest freak show on planet Earth. It's gonna be the most fucked up, insane shit you've ever seen. You're not gonna like what walks through that door. <laughs>